Hey guys, I want to talk about a lot of the stuff that's been going on online lately, whether it's through YouTube or Twitter or places like that. It's scary knowing somebody like him just do not give this man the satisfaction of getting away with this. Please. You've taken advantage of people in unforgivable ways. You've severely damaged people. I've always wanted to portray a positive message here. And what I say is this. I will be better. Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Curtis Price channel. The channel where I make videos on people and the stories only seem to get worse and worse. And if you are new to this channel, hi, this is my face. Was in fact voted in 2018 as the sexiest man on earth. <laughs> I lost. Why should you subscribe to me? Because I'm interested and I own uh, one of these. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Which nicely leads me on to today's video. A YouTuber by the name of Mini Lad. What's he done and why am I talking about him? Well, those are indeed the questions I shall be answering for you today. Now, I know I am late to this topic, but as I always say, it's better to finish late than early. Am I right, ladies? So, Mini Lad, a YouTuber who was mostly popular back in the day among the group Vanos, Hitch2O Delirious, I Am Wildcat, etc. I'm sure if you've watched videos on Gmod or Grand Theft Auto 5, you probably have seen their funny moment compilations. And Mini Lad to this day is still a YouTuber and a Twitch streamer with 5 million subscribers and 700,000 followers on Twitch. He mainly plays games like Minecraft, which is favoured to the majority of his audience, who is in fact below the legal age. And you know, Mini Lad believes in positivity, believes in people coming to his videos and leaving with a big smile. And by people, I mean teenagers, of course. Well, just as a taste test, you know, dipping our toes in the pond slightly. Let's see what positivity and smiles Mini Lad was talking about. I want you to say how big he is. I have a kink for people saying how big my penis is, lol. <laughs> well, that's quite the positivity, isn't it? You know when you've become truly self-obsessed because you start referring to your genitals as a he. <laughs> isn't that right, Big Cliff? Can you talk to her? Tell her that I'm not who I was when I was younger. Tell her my side attempt. Well, that's... That's definitely a different side, isn't it? So when someone tried to expose Mini Lad, he practically dropped his pants and used suicide as a manipulation tactic like a bitch. Have you, uh, you know, definitely checked that you've got a he between your legs and not a she? I am. I'm just saying, you might have a wet pink pussy between your legs. Maybe this is Mini Lad. But ladies and gentlemen, that was just an insight of what I have to offer in today's video. We will be looking at the backstory, the voices of those who have been affected, meaningless apologies, excuses, and things that I have found that I would like to show you. So with that said, welcome to the unstable reality of Mini Lads. So, Mr. Mini Lad, a man who makes content which is dedicated to the teenage audience. However, that is not an issue. It becomes a problem when a man takes advantage of the underage audience, beginning to mistreat the people who have made you who you are today, manipulating the trust bond you have with them. And that's exactly what Craig Thompson, aka Mini Lad, chose to do. A few months ago in June, a girl named Haley posted a statement on how Mini Lad had taken advantage of her. Now, not only is taking advantage bad enough, but Haley was indeed only 16. Some of the key things she said in this statement was as follows. Don't remember why, but we were joking around to where I said something about his penis being small. I guess he took it personally, as you will see in the pictures he sent me of him in his underwear to show off his bulge of his penis, which I did not ask for at all. Remember, I was a minor. I was 16. He knew that I liked him. Sent me those photos to someone he knew liked him for a boost of ego. The worst part is I was not the only person he had done this to. When I was 16 around the time Craig and his ex had broken up, he was severely depressed. I saw the dark side of him with his depression and I will choose out of respect to keep that private unless it involves what I will be talking about. It took me years to realize that he uses suicide tendencies to pity him into not talking about these things publicly. After reading that, I do truly feel disturbed. He allegedly sent a picture of his bulge to Haley while she was underage. He had recently been going through a breakup and in my opinion, he used that as a loophole which gave him power to manipulate individuals into feeling sorry for him. And we will see a hell of a lot more of this in a few minutes. This man cannot be trusted with a platform, a corrupted man who lost his way in darkness, and unfortunately so. But now for the next part, let's take a flight ladies and gentlemen. Let's take this to HQ and have a sit down and a real chat about this monstrosity. I have changed. 
Alright, so welcome to HQ, ladies and gentlemen. Now, as we are aware, Mini Lad did send a picture of his pee pee to an underage girl. She called it small. <laughs> and apparently, he took it to heart and got offended. Well, at least now we know the real meaning behind Mini Lad. However, when one of the girls threatened to expose Mini Lad, he came back with the most absurd things. <laughs> this man claimed that if anyone was to expose him, he would, um kill himself. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, using suicidal tendencies in 2020 as a defense mechanism. Holy crap. But that's not all, ladies and gentlemen, that's not all. Just, uh, listen to this. People who are and who cling on to my videos, I'm scared for them. She'll kill hundreds of people. I'm scared that I might be one of those people too, and Sammy will have to live with that. They'll get negative attention and death threats and everyone will hate them. We need to try and get that through to them, that they are going to ruin millions of people's lives and potentially kill people. I mean, fucking hell, talk about a real man, eh? Talk about taking accountability. Oh, I love it. This man literally said that if Sammy was to expose him, she would be killing hundreds and hundreds of fans. <laughs> You fucking tosspot. Never mind the fact that he sent his picture of his penis to an underage girl or, or, or that he was manipulating people. No, no. If you expose him, people are going to die. And that'll be your fault. This man is trying to manipulate people by using guilt to force them into silence. Guilt tripping people. And not only did he do that, he was using the people that made him who he is today as a force of manipulation. Word of advice for prison, Craig? Drop the soap. They like that. But I think it's only fair that we hear Haley's response as well on what she had to say. So let's take it away. How if Ash ever came up about this, she would be killing. She would be the person who's responsible for killing thousands of people because of if people found out who he was and fans who count on his videos found out about him, they would kill themselves. How much of a fucking massive ego can you have? How much of a fucking disgusting human being can you be to think you have a right on this platform. However, Haley wasn't the only person affected by this. There was also another girl called Ash who was heavily affected by this man. Let's just say things got a lot more heated between Mini Lad and Ash. But now before we take a look at this, it's actually important to note that Craig didn't know that she was actually 17. <laughs> That was, of course, until he changed his story. I knew she was 17, but I was suicidal and said to myself, if I'm going to kill myself, I thought I'd go down swinging. My actual thought process. Again with a suicidal defense. Huh? You greasy pig. I mean, come on. <laughs> Uh, yeah. The hilarious thing is, is that even though he lied about, you know, not knowing she was 17, it's ironic because there are lies throughout the whole of this video. <laughs> it's ironic because he says he's going to be honest with his fans and, you know, build a, a happy fan base, a strong one. And he just lies to everyone. That's right, everyone. I would never lie to you. You're my fan base and I'm going to stand by you. I promise I didn't know she was 17. Well, i got to be honest, you know, uh, I knew she was 17. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, uh, I'm sorry for lying to everyone and, and my fans and everything, you know. But I, I did actually send her a picture of my mini lad. But considering mini lad claims to be all about positivity and building a strong fan base and being connected to his fans and, and treating everyone with love and respect. Surely, mini lad, you... He, he couldn't have actually broken his own principles. Your eyes are incredible. My dick rose out of my pants and clicked follow. Your dick rose out of your pants. You clicked on a 17-year-old girl's profile and your penis rose out of your pants and clicked follow. Oh, did you click the follow button with your bell end or something? And right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the perfect, perfect example of just pure peer pressure. You said when you were drunk, you send me a little something. I didn't even mean for that message to be such a mess, OMG. Do it. I believe in you. For me. Listen, I'm so comfy in bed, I don't want to get up. It's been weeks. I sad. Do it, love heart. It's on your snap. Holy fuck, you're stunning. Are you lying? No, my god, fucking hell. And now it's gone forever. So you wanted a 17 year old girl to send her a picture of her, you know, nudes, while she was drunk. That sentence alone is enough to make a deaf man here again. Oh, why would you want to see a 17 year old girl naked? I, I don't understand, Craig. Why do you do this? It's been weeks. I sad and I couldn't give two shits. And these are also some of the other messages he sent to her, which were very graphic. I want you to say how big he is. I have a kink for people saying how big my dick is, lol. Like if you were to compliment how big my dick is, I would get hard so fast. It wouldn't take me long to come at all. Talk about how big he is. <laughs> 
Just shut the fuck up, man. You really go into some graphic detail with these 17-year-old girls, don't you? You might get off to 17-year-old girls telling how big your pee-pee is, uh, Craig. However, uh, I get off by exposing you. Oh, yeah! But I do want to talk about Craig's apology now, ladies and gentlemen. And for that, we're going to head to the wonderful, the one and only Dr. Don Valentine. You might not have seen this man in a few months, and uh, he's missed you. I, I hope you've missed him as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Deep Space Disaster. Ah, so welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. Don Valentine. So, Mr. Minilad, uh, you one big fucking nonsense here. Now, in this segment, we will be, in fact, discussing Minilad's apology. A very shit one, my dad. But first, I must, in fact, let you know that all of Minilad's fans turned against him once these allegations came out. He didn't have a leg to stand on. Speaking of legs, Minilad, your third leg is something that we do not want to see again. All hell broke out in the Minilad community. No one trusted that man anymore. And this can be shown through his liking dislike ratio. Now I know you are all here for the apology and uh, I want to talk about Hayley, I believe her name is. I'm gonna call her Hayley because that's what I can see, but I might be stupid. But let's just read the tweet that she made when she was about to come out about her experiences with mini lads. I think I'm going to be honest with my experiences. It's hard to be silent when it still today bothers me. I don't care if I lose my friends because I decided to be brave. I'm not sure yet though if I should say anything. Gotta make sure I am fully able to. There was a time when I was underaged and taken advantage by someone who has a pretty big platform. I'm too scared to speak over it, which sucks. Then Minnie Lad's ex-girlfriend replied to say, I got your back, Queen. Now, I can only wonder how Minnie Lad responded to this, and I'm very excited to find out, ladies and gentlemen. I'm shaking, my balls are about to explode. Ah, oh, perhaps he just ignored it, or his rectum started twitching. Harley, I saw your tweets, are you okay? You always check up on me, so I wanted to check up on you. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, Minila tried to pretend as if he actually cared about Hayley. But ladies and gentlemen, do I have news for you? This wasn't a checkup on Hayley. He was actually trying to check up see if she was going to speak out on him or not. To see if he was in the clear and that his career would be safe. He was not checking up on Hayley. The thing he was checking up on was indeed the safety of his career. Now it's the time you've been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. Mini Lad's epic apology that debunks everything that's ever existed. The holy grail of apologies. Boy, can I not wait to hear this. Now that some time has passed and I've had time to reflect on everything and get a grand scope of everything that's been going on, I, I wanted to set the record straight. Damn dangly donkey dick. Shut the fuck up. Now you've heard this now, right? He's gonna set the record straight. Well, I can't fucking wait to hear this. Time to sit down and make a video addressing him. The first thing that I wanted to talk about with these allegations is I've never physically met them before, nor have I physically abused anybody across the board. I want to make people aware of that because those are serious allegations and I wanted to put those rumours to bed. My friend, they never accused you. No one accused you of allegedly trying to meet up or allegedly uh, abusing someone. That allegation does not exist. What's the point of your existence? I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm losing my mind. It might be the meth I've done. But no one actually accused you, mini lad, of trying to abuse anyone or trying to meet up with someone, which is... Quite frankly, I'm, I'm quite fucking confused right now. But I have the answers, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the reason he said that was because he was trying to make himself look like a better person. He was trying to minimise all the bad facts that he, you know, had been sending penis pictures to underage girls and and, and guilt tripping them with suicide thoughts. No, I didn't, uh, I didn't fucking abuse anyone. I, 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 I didn't, you know, I, I didn't want to meet up with anyone. I, I'm the good guy in this situation, you know. I'm not a bad man. I sent my picture to a girl of my penis, my shaft, but I'm not a bad man, you know. Ah, I smell bullshit. Where have I heard that before? Oh, that's right. My last video with Gemini Official. <sighs> Stop trying to be the saint, mini lad. You fucked up. All right. The next point that I wanted to bring up that I've seen is people wondering why I went back to Northern Ireland or what the reason that I went home to Northern Ireland was. The main reason and the only reason is that I wanted to see my family. Okay, and quickly moving on to the next point. Uh, he said the reason he went back to Northern Ireland was because he wanted to see his family. <laughs> well, I think the reason he went back to Northern Ireland is because the age of consent is 16. You know, it's not illegal there then, is it? But to be honest with you, I, I, uh, I couldn't really give a shit that you went back to Northern Ireland. And may I add, the fact that you chose to go back to Northern Ireland now well, what a fucking great time to go back. Doing 19 and doing all these allegations coming out. 
Fucking hell, I, I don't know. After that, the next thing that I wanted to talk about is therapy. I outlined it in my original tweet back in June at the bottom saying that I will be working on myself and I will be attending therapy from now and on into the future. That apology was probably one of the shittest, most fucking useless apologies I've ever seen in my life. There is more interest in a 90 year old granddad's limp dick. He literally spoke about nothing. He didn't care. He didn't say anything that was useful or that would clear the air because this man simply does not give a fuck. I mean, as you can see by the like and dislike ratio, people didn't agree with his apology. <laughs> And I know, tell me about it, because I thought it was shit. And I know that there's nothing I can say right now that will change your guys' minds, and that's okay. But I hope, looking forward to the future, that whether it's in the coming weeks, or the coming months, or the coming years, that what I say right now, you can take as the truth. And what I say is this. I will be better. So this man said he's really gonna try for his audience. He's really gonna take a step back and reflect on himself and that he will be better. Well, yes, Craig, I'm all behind you for this. I support you, Craig. You're my friend and I can't wait for you to prove everyone wrong or how much of a good person you are. I think the subreddit should remain closed until after my comeback, which is this week. The drama will get drowned out by new posts of recent videos. Once people realize that the majority don't care, brands will keep working with me until die faster. Craig, Craig, Craig. What to do with you? So he didn't really give a fuck really, did he? He doesn't care about his audience. He, all he cares about is this slowly going away. He tries to take as much accountability as possible and be very genuine in his apology threads and everything, but that just literally pushes everything back that he's ever said. He's counting on the videos overtaking all the hate and the reddit posts piling on top of the negativity. He doesn't want to take accountability of this, he just wants all of this to go away. And that, my friend Craig, is where you fail yourself. You mad bro? Uh, yeah. I said tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad bro? Uh.